it taping? Uh, yes, it's taping. Okay. Hi, Jen here with Cafe Joe with Jen, and I'm with my dear, dear friend, Claudia LeBeau. She is a world-renowned jewelry um, designer, and she's here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, my hometown, at Miss Jackson. So I'm just going to ask her a few questions about following her passion, following her dreams, and never giving up or quitting. So da -da -da, let me move over here and make sure I'll be able to turn it this way. So, okay, Claudia, um, I know that you design jewelry and you're here now in Tulsa celebrating our 100th anniversary at Miss Jackson's. So what made you get involved in designing jewelry or basically turning it into your business? Well, I've always loved jewelry and fashion. Um, I started, do, I worked in banking and I started doing jewelry for my friends, co-workers, for myself. And then on September 11th, 2001, I decided to take that as, to make that a career because I decided to follow my dreams because we didn't know how long we were going to live. So I started taking it more serious and um, taking the next step. And, and then we, uh, my husband, he gave me all the support to, for that and he started buying me stuff and and then I started showing in uh, Soho in New York, I lived in New York, so on um, Soho we had a little table on the street, uh, St. Patrick's, uh, St. Anthony's Market. Yes. And every weekend I was working at the bank during the week and then doing that on the weekend. And in 2003 he joined me and we moved to San Antonio and, this, and it became our business. Your business uh, together, my, your passion, because he loves you. Yeah. He loves you so much. He thought Claudia. Well, you, he loves you, and you're so talented. So he realized your your talent was going to take you far. So you guys moved to San Antonio. Now, when you were in Soho, because you know I lived in New York for a year. Uh -huh. Every weekend on Saturday, Todd would let me go to Soho by myself, and I know I saw not you, but people just like you, and I loved it. One of a kind pieces of jewelry, scarves, you name it. So did didn't people come by that you knew, like famous actresses, and they loved oh, yeah. your jewelry? I like those Kate stories. Hudson, Kate Hudson. Um, the uh, produ uh, producer for Eve. Oh singer. yes, uh huh. See, uh, that's so uh, neat. He got some things for uh -huh. the show that she, she was doing a show at that time. And they would come buy your jewelry. And uh -huh. so when y'all moved to San Antonio, I know that's when I met Claudia. Um, I actually met her at the swimming pool and we hit it auto off immediately because of course she's beautiful from Brazil. We everybody, started talking. Everybody hit off immediately with Jennifer. So. <laughs> well, I'm a talker. <laughs> But I thought she's beautiful. We started talking. She told me about her jewelry, and immediately, I don't know if you remember this, I said, I want to see it. And you were like, right now? I go, yeah, right now. And Claudia left the swimming pool and came back with the black briefcase. I don't know if you remember that. And we opened it up. Of course, all of her jewelry is beautiful. She designs it herself and makes it herself. And so then you guys opened up a store, and then tell the story about the um, important person that happened to walk in that day, because I really believe things happen for a reason. Uh, Eva, uh Eva Longoria's mother-in-law, like future mother-in-law uh -huh. at the time, she came to the store, she loved everything, and um, she said, I'm going to bring my daughter-in-law, my uh -huh. son's girlfriend, uh -huh. and which was Eva Longoria, so she came next day, and she loved everything, and then the next day she was flying into LA with her, introduced me to the stylists of Desperate Housewives, and since then they've been using the jewelry almost every episode. On and, the Desperate Housewives uh, set? That's amazing. And that was in 2005. Uh-huh. And um, she is a big supporter. Like, she really and um, you guys, she likes the jewelry. And, and your personal wears. friends. Yeah, we became friends after that. I think yeah. that's wonderful. And so here it is, 2010. And you guys now sell, wholesale, and talk about how many um, stores are carrying your jewelry. About 700. 700 stores worldwide. So you, here you have Claudia from Brazil. She made jewelry as a hobby and would sell it on the streets of Soho on the weekends. And then she went to her husband and said, this is my passion, this is my dream, this is my love. And here she's making a career out of it. Um, her husband supports her 110%. And she has her jewelry, 700 stores worldwide. Um, if you watch Desperate Housewives, I'm a big fan, maybe because I'm one myself. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but um, they wear her jewelry. And so I absolutely love your story so much. I think you're an amazing person. And 
then we have to talk about her um, necklace that she made. This is a signature piece for Miss Jackson's, and she's standing behind peacock feathers, and she's just made a hundred necklaces. And um, of course, she's here in Tulsa, and then I get to remain friends with my friend. So. Thank you for watching. So my point is if you have a passion or you have a dream, you need to follow that. And I always like to say never give up. Oh, yeah, right? never. Because never. I'm sure there were times you were thinking, what am I doing? I'm going to give up. She never gave up. And here she is, 700 stores later. And um, I love her so much. And then I have to give a shout out. See, uh, she has her cowboy boots on cowboy boots thank this is you. our uh, back to san antonio days right yeah yep. okay so thanks for joining us ttfn ta-ta for now thank you <laughs>